Hey gamers, Rick here with Game Trade Media coming to you from Gamma Trade Show in Reno, Nevada. And I've got Justin from Stoneblade Entertainment here to tell us about some really cool stuff coming out. Yeah, I'm very excited. This is uh, our, my newest game that's mm -hmm. coming out next month uh, called Ringmaster. It is a circus-themed okay. card game. I don't know if you guys have the same kind of memories I do of like growing up and like going to the circus the, yeah. and like that kind of old-timey, over-the-top showmanship. And that's really what we tried to capture in this game. And okay. it's like, not only is it like a fun kind of light card game that you get to play, uh, we have this cool poster that uh, we're showing off here uh, that uh, it comes as the pre-order case pre-order so you can nice. get for your store uh, it's just like just really sweet and we actually designed we can transition this yep. to the cards mm -hmm. we designed all the cards to look like old-timey circus posters and so we have these nice. classic characters of the fortune teller and the bearded lady and the three ring circus and the lion tamer and so it's been this really fun experience to be able to kind of make that come to life okay uh, and the other beauty of this is the game is, you know, I like making games of all kinds. I like, I pride myself on a lot of my games being more simple than, than traditional hobby games, you know, sure. essentially and easier to explain than a lot of others. But this game, the rule book is this. This is it. That's all I got for the rule book. It takes nice. like 30 seconds to explain. Right. Uh, so I'll go ahead well, and let's do that. jump right into that. Yeah. Game. So basically you start the game. You're trying to build the best circus possible. Okay. Um, you start the game with three cards in hand. You Each turn you must draw one card. You may play one card. There's four different card types, events, you play them, you do whatever they say, they go to the discard pile. Attractions go in front of you and they tell you how you win. So okay. kind of like flux where the rules will change as you go. Sure. So the three ring circus, for example, says that if you have three three ring circuses, you win, right? Then you have stars, which are your kind of main uh, main uh, characters that can give you additional power. So now you can play two cards a turn if you have the lion tamer in play. Nice. The ring master lets you draw extra cards, cool stuff like that. Okay. And then you have sideshows, which are the crazy mess mm. people up, get things, right. get weird things. So the bearded lady, for you to discard down to one card at the end nice. of your turn. And so it is a deck of only 34 cards, and it is uh, creates a huge variety of play experience because we made all of the cards. It's kind of like my uh, like a cross between, like if you ever played old school magic without like mm. casting costs on cards, right. where you could just like, you know, so a card will wipe out everything in play. Another card will make you shuffle all your hands back together. Sure. Another card will like swap things. And so it's like a very wild, over the top kind of, you okay. know, that's where the circus feel comes in for it. All right. uh, so it's been really fun. It's only $9.99 is nice. the other beauty part. Artwork, uh, you know, so actually, it's we have uh, Rod Mendez is the artist who did the artwork for these, he did an incredible job. And so actually, good. we have our this is our Stoneblade's newest uh creative director. Mm -hmm. This is his first project he helped put okay. together. So he came up with the theming and the story and the look and the, the design of the whole thing. And it is something I'm so proud of. Like, mm -hmm. this is a game I was mentioning before we started. This is a game like the mechanics of it I've had in the works for over uh, nearly a decade, I mean, okay. literally that long because I love kind of quick, simple card games that still have that depth of strategy to keep sure. you hooked that you can bust out anywhere. But I never had the right like story to tie it together. Yeah. It just didn't all fit until he came on and came up with this circus idea to add to it. And it just like hummed and we right. put it together in the last year. And now right. it's like, and it, it's great because it comes with this cool little uh, carry, pa carry nice. pouch. They're tarot-sized cards, so they kind of still give you that kind of fortune teller right, cir circus vibe. Yeah. Um, but it's easy to you know carry around in your pocket or obviously a bag. And so I think you know this is just a great thing to have for in between your you know meteor games or to introduce to other family. And mm -hmm. uh, you know we get pretty addicted and played tons on the plane over here and everything. How long does it take to play? Ten minutes. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> we get to actually battle. I love it. I love it. All right, we're gonna shuffle this up. And uh, it did take me a little bit to get used to shuffling tarot size cards as yeah. opposed to regular size cards, but let's get this party started. There's okay. three for you and three for me, and I'll let you go first. You All can right. draw a card. So let's draw card. one, play one. Draw one, play one. Okay. And so attractions and stars you play in front of you, events play to the discard pile, uh, sideshows can play to anybody. All right, the ringmaster has entered. Oh, okay, good. Best card. Good job. So <laughs> you get to draw an extra card uh, every turn, turn so, so you can start it right now. Okay, great. Yes, well done. Okay. I'm going to play a clown car. Counts as two attractions. Wow. That's all I got. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to... Draw two cards, basically. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to play... Uh, ooh, wow. I'm going to play the big top. Because all that's right. where we're going to find the ringmaster. Big master top, yeah. So if you top. have five, five or more uh, attractions, you win the game. So okay. okay. You got a, a great card and a way to win. All right. I need to... Shut down your ringmaster. I'm going to fire breathe to take oh destroy no. your ringmaster. Okay. He's too good. He's too good, I tell you. He is you. too good. Your turn. All right, so draw. And you know what? I'm, a, I'm such a great circus. Uh -huh. I mean, my circus is so uh, great. It's uh, the best. 
I'm gonna throw oh, down another big top. two big tops. Okay, and I just got a cloud car. That's literally <laughs> all I got here. So I think I could <laughs> see if I could do better than that. No good. Mm. No good. All right, that's all right. That's all right. I have uh, a three ring circus. Nice. So, all right, we're getting there. We're getting there. And draw. Oh, so, oh. Oh. <clears throat> so I have this guy that works in my circus. He's uh, very magical. And he yeah. likes to pick levitate. Any so I'm gonna. Oh, that clown car. Uh, 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 no? I'm afraid that there's been a sabotage uh, oh in no. the circus. A sabotage. Oh, I can no. stop a card as the opponent plays it. You do get to play another card, however. Okay. But your levitation trick did not did quite not work. work. It, you tried to lift the clown car. It was too heavy. Too many clowns. Well, while you were sabotaging my levitation master's uh -huh, things, uh -huh. <clears throat> I just happened to send over a little pickpocket. Oh no! Over to your oh, no. circus, be like. This guy is not going to win. All right. Take one thing, pickpocket. And I will play it. Oh, the third big top. He's yeah. got them all. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. Now if you... Come on. Come on. <laughs> all right. Well, here you go. You now have a bear in a tutu. And you're, uh, it's joined your circus. It's kind of rolled in there. And it's it's really exciting. But unfortunately, now all of your attractions count as sideshows. I don't like that So the big all. top can't win you the game while the bear in a tutu is in front of you. <sighs> So very it's distracting. Your, it's your turn. The <laughs> <laughs> bear. Look, I made a game with a bear in a tutu. That is it. amazing. That, I, I've I've achieved life goal. Check. <laughs> Dang it. Um, I am going to play an event to draw two cards. All right. All right. Cards are good. Cards are good. Okay. One card for me. Ha ha! Mm. Juggling. Shuffle this and all hands with the deck and discard pile. Then deal three Mine cards too? to everybody. Yes, oh. everybody gets a new hand. See, because okay. I only had one card in hand, you had many. Many. So now <laughs> this works out well for me. Ha ha! As long as that bear's out, it does. The bear is out. There is one card that uh, lets you win the game if you have three or more sideshows, which mm. would win you the game right away if you happen to get it. Right. I'm going to take that chance because I think I okay. need, you had too many cards ahead of me, so I felt like it was worth it. Everybody Taking the just, risk. Everybody just wants to see the bear in the tutu. That's bear why I'm going to go to the big tops. Da, 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 the attractions da, 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 da. are gone. Okay, and you get to go and uh, take a card and play a card. All right. I will do that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And oh, that guy. tamer. Okay, you so get to play an extra card. And I think the ringmaster's oh, come back come to play. On. Hello, come everybody. On. Welcome back. All the goodies. All you right. may draw an additional card each turn, so I can do that. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. You can all do it right. right away. Okay, this guy. This guy. All right, my turn. Um, my turn. Yeah, you played two cards already, yeah, so I it's did. my turn. Ooh. I'm gonna draw. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna play uh, my own big top. So I now have four uh, attractions because the clown car counts as two. So if I can okay. get one more attraction, I will win the game on my next turn. I don't like that at all. No, I like it, <coughs> but I like yeah. it. But your turn. Your circus right. is a little more impressive than mine, generally speaking, but so if I can fill the big two. top first. I get to play an additional card. Yeah, you can play two cards. You've drawn two cards now. Can you find a victory with two card plays? It's got, it's, there's a good chance of that. There's a lot there of cards is. that can win you this game, potentially. Or stop me from winning, I guess. But it, that one doesn't... It has to be from your hand. Discard is from hand, right? Not from play. You can discard cards from play. If it says on, it, if it's a discard... Uh, in play. Oh, yeah. That will discard a sideshow. Correct. The strong um, man discards the bear in the tutu. The, the bear. Just bear in the tutu has been launched from the stadium. We are done with All you. All right. So now you... But you're still too... Uh, I get to do another thing. Yeah. If you could take my clown car somehow, that would uh, win you the game. So ex exotic exhibit... Yeah, Count as one attraction. Correct. So that gets you to four attractions total. You okay. need five to win. Right. So that's going to be giving me a chance to win the game. Yes, and I think it's going to happen. I think it's about to go down. I am going to. That your your levitation trick didn't right. work quite so well, but right. I uh, I am a no. better magician, and I'm going to levitate that exotic exhibit from your uh, circus. Oh, 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 oh. victory! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> that is awesome. That yeah. is super fun. Yeah, and the thematic helps. You know, you can like we were doing. You yeah, absolutely, uh, yeah. You could play around with it. It's yeah. like you know, it's obviously the gameplay is very easy. You just draw a card and play a card. But you mm -hmm. could see from some of the crazy stuff that happened mm -hmm. with the cards all getting shuffled and swapped around and stolen. And there's you know lots of different ways to like make the game each game feel different despite absolutely. it being only 34 cards. Yeah, a very light sort of experience. So I can dig it. Yeah. This is really good. awesome. I was so glad yeah. we got to actually play it here. Usually I only cool. get to talk through the games and these things, so it's really oh, fun. I had to play it. Yeah. Uh, when I saw the poster for this at Toy Fair. Yeah. 
Yeah. I was like, oh, we'll, we'll be playing that game soon. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah, and it's, you know, like I said, it's only nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. It's a very easy pickup. And, uh, it comes and out in April. It comes out in April, correct. Nice. So just a few weeks. Very cool. So what else did you bring? Well, I'm glad you asked. So, you know, we talked about uh, the fun of a circus theme and, like, things mm-hmm. that, you know, I liked as a kid and really got to uh, participate in. And now I've taken my probably most well-known game ascension and mm-hmm. i've been able to incorporate another awesome theme uh that i love which is pirates hmm. <laughs> well so pirates huh yes pirates so i was in the military okay i was in the navy yeah and one of my jobs at one time was uh like anti-pirate oh where we'd go out and board other ships oh yeah that like were real pirates like real life pirates yes yeah so i have an affinity towards this kind of okay, stuff. okay great <laughs> so well yay. i i yes i have uh, basically taken all of the cool uh mystical pirate tropes and right. uh applied them into the ascension universe so nice. one of the first things that th- you'll notice if you're a ascension fan uh you'll the board is very different than any board we've built before mm-hmm. um you know we we pride ourselves on making kind of pretty boards that really like bring the world to life and this one we've done is a sort of map of what Mm -hmm. we call the severed seas and so the ascension center row classically is always dealt into the center that's why we you know called it a center row Mm. in this i know we're very smart we're very smart good at naming (laughs) things that's that's one of our specialties um so one of the things that happens here in this version is that the center deck cards this is not the whole center deck but it's enough to illustrate our purposes get dealt off to the sides so it's center row but ish Now, the cool thing that allows you to do is you get to start the game with a pirate ship. We have four pirate ships that you can pick from that are your pirate dials. Each one has a crew rating, which Mm -hmm. I don't know if you'll be able to see here, but it goes from zero to nine. Okay. And then your ships, each turn can move around the center row and actually acquire or defeat cards on the center row by spending crew. Okay. So everybody gets a starting card, and uh, so forgive me if there's audience that doesn't know Ascension. It's a, you know a deck building game. This is we're mm-hmm. nearing our tenth anniversary, uh, so I assume most people are familiar with it. But you deal out six cards. Mm-hmm. You try to build. It's a deck building game, so you try to build the des- best deck you can. You earn honor, which are these beautiful little honor beads here from killing. Uh, the monsters that will show up periodically. Nice. And uh, my favorite new monster is one that starts on the in the uh, center row as its own sort of seventh slot, which is the th- called the Kraken. Nice. And so we actually get to have cards that move you towards the Kraken, that release the Kraken. And okay. uh, what will happen is, over the course of play, you will gain, uh, there's uh, gold, treasure, of course, okay. you can't have a pirate game without treasure. Uh, when treasure goes in the center, when it flips up from the center row, it goes underneath uh, the cards that are the, that are there. Whenever you get the card on top, you also get the treasure, and the treasure stays in front of you. Nice. But uh, it wouldn't be pirate themed if you could just hold on to your treasure right. easily. Yeah, because I would like to take that. Yes, exactly. So we have the raid mechanic, and so raiding uh, cards will allow you. For example, I think this tempest turbine here. Uh, whenever you play a mechanic construct, you can move your ship and then raid, and so that means if your ship is in the same space as them, you take one of their treasure. Nice. I, uh, yes, so that's super fun. Art is truly a good thing to do. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, it'd be good. Uh, and so it's actually, and then if you end up, uh, there are cards that will force you to move onto the Kraken space. Mm. If you, uh, the Kraken will steal treasure from you as well. Okay. And uh, But if you defeat the Kraken, then you get to have him serve you, and you become the Kraken. And the card what? goes in front of you, and then you can raid other players every turn. Oh, uh, my so God. So it's really, really powerful, really awesome. Uh, All right. And one of the things, so, you know, like I mentioned at the, the before, like, you know, we're nearing our 10th anniversary for Ascension. Mm-hmm. This is nine years. This is the 15th expansion, full standalone expansion that okay. I've done. And so we really wanted to just go outside the box and, like, you know, this is probably the most ambitious set that I've done okay. because, you know, you have the ships and moving around and raiding and treasure and, like, all these cool mechanics. And it just, like, we have gotten such a great response from people that have had a lot of fun at the immersiveness of getting involved and getting your, your pirate ship to move around. Um, we have uh, a new starting card that comes in the starting deck that you will replace one of your apprentices with, the Buccaneer, mm. who gives you extra crew every round. Nice. So it's one of the main ways you get crew, of course. Uh, there's also cards that have an anchor ability, which is um, the, they all are highlighted and say the word anchor on them. Right. And anchor means if your ship is at that space when you acquire that card, it mm. gives you a bonus. So oh, nice. in this case, this guy can go straight to your hand and be used right away. Okay. Um, so there's a lot of like things where the movement and positioning of your ships becomes a critical part of gameplay. Okay. And so one of the things I always try to do whenever you're working on a game, especially for as long as I have, right? You want to keep the tension 
of the game on the main mechanic, which is the center row, right? How do you decide which cards you get and what, you know, what order? And do I want to deny ones from you? And, you know, and sure. now the fact that you have this location movement that is layered on top of that because your ships are powerful and they can acquire cards. And if they're near the spaces when you acquire cards, they give you bonuses. And then you also want to watch out for enemy ships because right. they're going to come raid you. Right. And so there's this really fun tension that sort of plays with the basics of the game. And uh, I think people are really going to love it. Very cool. And so what's the win condition on this? So the win condition is uh, when they honor pool runs out by again usually killing monsters you then uh, and other ways to gain honor then you count up the total number of points that you have so that honor here these are worth one these are worth five the red ones here as well as every card you purchase is worth points um, okay. so these are all worth points at the end of the game there's an eight pointer and then all the gold you have is worth points of course nice. and then there's another treasure type which I will see here which is the crystals of uh, command Let's see if I can find one that are uh, scaling points so they basically are worth one point for each one you have okay. so you this is another thing you can raid from other players so it can create some very swingy uh moments when you're trying to steal like one of them that could be worth a ton of points here's okay. one um this uh crystal of command so it's worth one nice. point for every crystal you have so okay. those are uh, the different ways you score points and then you know yeah. most points at the end wins nice i yeah. love it now, when is this going to be available? This is also going to be available in April. Um, I don't have an exact date yet, but you can order it as a store now from your distributors, mm -hmm. and uh, we will have the exact date once it's actually in our sure, warehouse. I've learned this lesson the hard way yeah. uh, when I say dates and yeah. don't actually have There's them in my warehouse some, yet. Sometime April. in April. Soon. <laughs> very soon. soon. All right. <laughs> uh, very cool. Yeah, it's very exciting. So. I love it. So, Justin, thank you so much for coming and showing us all this amazing stuff. So, where can someone go to find more information about Stoneblade Entertainment? Yeah, that's a great question. So, you can go to stoneblade.com. We also have a newsletter that you can sign up for. I actually send out not only updates about our upcoming games, but also I do free uh, game design articles. I have a game design podcast called Think Like a Game Designer. That's mm -hmm. the same title as my book that released last year. Yep. I give away Good tons book. of free content, put a ton of cool stuff for people. So, please do sign up for at stoneblade.com. Uh, mm -hmm. We won't spam you. We just send you cool new game information, and cool. uh, it's a great way to keep up with what we're doing nice yeah i love it awesome. thank you so much Justin. thank you always a pleasure always now everybody watching make sure you go to your friendly local game store and let them know hey i saw these cool games here and uh i want you to get them on your shelf so i can put it on my table and play it with my friends because uh, that's all about building that awesome community around social gaming yes it's so much fun uh i'm rick here for game trade media and i'll see you at the game store